Hi everyone, this is Ryan and today we're going to be talking about the MT4 platform. All right? So this is a fairly important lesson right? because most of our trading is going to be done on the MT4 platform. Right? So it will be good if you have already downloaded the MT4 platform so you can practice along, uh, you can practice along with, with my lesson. All right? Okay, so let's move on to the slides. Right? So MT4 platform. Okay, so when you open up your platform, right, you should see a screen similar to this, all right? And then you can see all the buttons over here at the top, right? All these buttons can be clicked, right? Depending on uh, what, you want to, what you want to do, all right? So first off, you could unclick all these buttons and then you'll see what happens, right? When you unclick all these buttons, this is what happens to your screen. Right, suddenly the chart takes up the full screen. Right, so previously there was a market watch window over here. Then we have the navigator window over here, and at the bottom we have the terminal window. All right. So basically, market watch will show you all the currency pairs that you can trade. The navigator window will show you all your account login details. Right, sorry, account numbers, not details, account numbers. And then at the bottom, the terminal will show you all your account balance, your, your pending orders, you know, your trade history, okay, account history. All right. So if you remove these three windows, you'll be left with the screen, which is what we see over here. All right. And then you can also, at the bottom, you'll see that there are some charts over there. So basically, you could... Uh, click on the different charts, right? Sorry, different, yeah. If you open up different charts, you can toggle between the charts, all right? And over here, you can click on this new chart. So you can, new chart, you can bring up any currency pair chart that you want, all right? Any currency pair chart that you want. Okay. All right, then we can also zoom in, zoom out, okay? And then important that you click on this as well. This is a candlestick chart. Right, because sometimes the chart by default might show you a line chart or a, or a, uh, some other chart. All right, so you can click on candlestick chart. All right, so we're going to all our trading is going to be done with the candlestick chart. All right, so not the line chart or the bar chart, but the candlestick chart. You can zoom in, zoom out. All right, so you can play around. Zoom in and zoom out to a level that you're comfortable with. All right, there's no you no. Know, there is no rule that say, oh, you must only view at a specific size. No, view at something that you're comfortable with, all right? Okay, then we have the chart shift and the auto scroll, right? Auto scroll, once you click on the auto scroll, it basically means that, you know, as the prices and candles are updated on the right side, on the right side, right? The charts moves to the left, all right? So it moves, moves, moves. So if a new candle appears, it moves. A new candle appears, it moves. A new candle appears, it moves. If you do not turn on the auto scroll, then a new candle appears, 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 and then soon your current candle will be hidden behind here already. All right, so the, because the chart doesn't scroll. All right, so this is the auto scroll. Chart shift, right? Chart shift is basically for, you know, visual purpose, right? So chart shift basically, okay, your candle will be on this side, on the right side. So when you put a chart shift, it shifts over here. So there's a gap, right? So you can see clearly that this would be the latest candle, right? The latest candle will be somewhere around this line. Okay, next we have the periodicity, right? What's periodicity? Periodicity may basically means the time frame. So we have M1 for one minute, M5, five minute, M15, 15 minute, M30, 30 minute, H1, one hour, H4, four hour, D1, one day, W1 is uh, weekly, one week, and MN is monthly, right? So one, what this means is that each candle, each candle according to the time frame that you have selected. So if you selected D1, each candle one day. You selected M1, each candle is one minute, right? So each candle takes one minute to form. And if you selected D1, each candle takes one day to form. All right, so you can switch between the time frame. Okay, then we have the crosshair, right? So this is quite an uh, important feature, right? The crosshair button. All right, so when you click on the crosshair button, right, this crosshair appears, right? How I use the crosshair is basically to find out the, 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 the range, right? Of, of how, many, how, how big is the range, right? How many pips is the range, all right? So the vertical crosshair will show you the date and time level at the bottom, all right? The horizontal crosshair will show you the price, on the right okay and then if you left click 
and drag right left click hold on and drag right you will see another third line appear right so wherever you drag to you'll see three numbers right the first two digit indicates how many candles away from this vertical line all right so if you click from here click left click and drag over here it says 77 that means 77 candles from here to here all right the one in the middle is the number of pips right number of pips sorry number of points number of points not pips right so if you want pips you just uh divide by 10 right or take or, or remove the last last number all right so number of points so you should know the difference between pips and points by now right points is a uh, one tenth of a pip right so 0 0.1 pip all right so that's one point okay and then the third one is the price what what price this price down here so if you move all the way to the right from here it will be at this price all right so that's the feature of the crosshair right so this is quite an important feature to me right so i use crosshair almost every day okay next trend line all right trend line so one of the techniques that i taught in my free webinar there's a trend line all right so there's a trend line so we click on this button you draw a trend line okay now you'll notice that your trend line will be very long right it's all the way to infinity right it stretches all the way so what you do is you want to right click on your trend line right click on your trend line click on properties right so this pop-up box appears click on parameters and then uncheck the ray option once you uncheck the ray the trend line will be drawn from will be oh sorry the trend line will be the length of where you drew it from let's say i draw from here to here that's it right you will not see the ray at the end or the tail you know it's the same okay next you can draw rectangle boxes also rectangle triangle eclipse you know all these all just uh, not not so important for my trading all right but some people they they, they trade some uh, strategies where they call it box trading you know you could google it or whatever you know uh, they will draw a rectangle box in your charts all right so you can draw a rectangle right same thing right click on the rectangle bring out the properties you can uncheck draw object as background and then you know it becomes transparent all right it becomes transparent so it doesn't block your candles okay next uh, how to put in indicators now we don't really well, i don't really trade with indicators right but i'm just teaching you this just for completion sake all right so if you click on insert at the top you can and then indicators. so there's a whole list of indicators where you can put in all right so if you are trading with indicators right you can put in all these indicators in your chart right so in the example here i'm choosing a stochastic right so step one choose a stochastic indicator and then step two this pop-up box appears you can select the different period you know all these numbers can all be edited you know some traders or some people other uh, uh, teachers out there might teach you you know to put in some magic number you know just special formula number and then you click on okay all right so once you click on that the indicator appears on the chart all right so this is a stochastic right it appears in a separate window all right so that's basically all about mt4 platform right the important key thing about mt4 platform is you have to practice right i believe if you set aside 15 minutes to 30 minutes every day practicing on your mt4 the demo account right mt4 on a demo account i think within two or three days you will get a hang of it already right it's that easy right so trading is all about practice 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 right it's not something magical where you know suddenly you will know how to do it all right so keep practicing okay all right so that concludes the lesson on the uh, mt4 platform in the next lesson we'll be talking about executing a trade all right executing a trade so i'll see you in the next one bye bye